Hello, this is a quick proof of concept for an encoder system using the new crafter block. Um, so this has just been added as a sort of an experimental feature for the new update. And it's a first for Minecraft having automatic crafting. Um, and I think it's going to be quite powerful, but not just for farms and that sort of thing, but for using it as a means of encoding information. So in the past, I've made a sorting system that used signal strength. Um to give two digits to, you know, zero. It's essentially hexadecimal uh, digits to like a sorting system, which can then use the, those digits as coordinates. Um, this system's a little bit different. I'm using, uh, uh, where can I find it? I'm using die. Is it in here? I've forgotten where I've put it on. Yeah, I'm using die. So these colors here represent which dies are in. Um, so essentially we've got four digits with five different options, um, essentially giving us about, I think it's 600 and odd variations. Um, and all the system does is it encodes that information into one of these things, a firework star. Um, this wouldn't be possible without the crafter because you'd need human like player interaction there. Um, I'll just give you a quick demo. So I've only got a few numbers plumbed in. Um, it uses a hopper minecart with the first spot reserved for the item you want to encode. The, the other four for non-stackable items, we send that off. Um, there's a system here that dispenses some gunpowder. And then each of these four sides, I don't know if we'll be able to catch it. There we go, dispenses the corresponding um, colour dye from each you know, encoded section. So it would require a lot of setup to get it working. But as you can see there, four, well, one piece of dirt is four reds. And that's set basically by looking at the red column, replacing one of these items with a piece of dirt and taking one of the redstone out so that this redstone sort of held in balance. So if one thing drops out of it, the hopper unlocks. And then as it comes back around, the hopper can take the item back out of the hopper minecart. Um, so yeah, that's come back. The dirt's still here. The item's not lost. That can go back into whatever system you attach to it. But you now have the unique reference for that item, essentially, encoded into this. And the brilliant thing about firework stars, as you can see, is they stack, which means you can use them in any old bog-standard item filter. Um, they're also not too expensive. I've used these dies because they're all infinitely renewable quite easily especially if you make a bone meal farm the rest of these colors can be made using that bone meal as well as the white dye and um, the only resource that it will potentially be a little bit harder to get a lot of is gunpowder but creepers are fully afkable and farmable you know uniquely um they're able to be sorted out from other mob farms so i don't think it's too big of a strain i also quite like the idea that a system as complex as this almost uses like a fuel. I think it's quite a neat concept instead of it just doing it for free. Um, but maybe that's just me, a bit of copium. But yeah, I'll just run it again. Um, I've got a couple of other uh, coordinates put in here. So let's try spruce wood. Um, the order of which the colors do go in there d does matter. Um, so it does mean that even if you have, say, red, red, yellow, red, and then you have another one that is red, yellow, red, red, those are unique, those will not stack. Um, it really does show on the MBTs here, I think that's the MBT, the, the, the little small text there, um, exactly what you've encoded in. There we go, just saw that one craft. And that one's different, so that's yellow, yellow, magenta, magenta. Um, so on, the, on your massive, fairly box standard sorting system, if you were to send that down, it could essentially unlock, you know, a pathway to a storage silo, that sort of thing, uh, using that information. Um, I'll run it one more time with the oak wood. Oh, ba, beep, boop. And it'll do the loops again. Uh, this one was mainly to illustrate that fact I mentioned just prior, that even if the same colors are used, um, it's a unique firework star that comes out of it.
takes a little bit of time as I've looped the hoppers just to make sure they go in the exact right order. Um, I'm sure this can be improved upon. Um, that one was that most recent one there. Magenta, magenta, yellow, magenta. Obviously different variations, but they do come out different. And I'm quite pleased with it. So at the minute, with having five different colours, you can have, what is it, five to the power of four options. You add another colour in here that's also easily farmed, like green or lime green with pit, uh, sea pickles. Uh, you could essentially have like six, seven, um, and increase that amount of unique references you've got all encoded inside a fireworks star. The only difference there is if you... I'm keeping it at four digits, um, but you can basically expand the number of possible options per digit, if that makes sense. Um, but you could even have more digits if you were to just adjust this crafter. So fireworks star, I think, lets you just put one uh, gunpowder in and then eight die. Uh, so you just unlock those allow it to fill up and then you basically reset this so this is just to this crafter here is literally just to send out a signal of eight to know when this one's finished filling up um so when it gets you know nine things in there eight uh, nine minus eight is one which allows this to power which then causes the crafter to spit out the item i hope that all makes sense um it's quite similar to this system which i do have a video on already um and yeah, hope that helps someone. I'll keep on working on this and see if it goes anywhere. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.